It is a chapter of my dissertation, and the work is still on in progress. And um, I try to uh, study the effect of socioeconomic inequalities in access to basic water, drinking water, on childhood mortality. So I applied a multivariate fixed effects panel approach in this study, and I looked at the low and middle income countries as, um, as a country uh, of the study. So basically, this uh, panel data covers like 18 years of time span. And um, let's look at the content. So basically, this is the content for the any uh, standard research. So basically, I will introduce the research problem and gap, and then followed by the research approaches to the study of child mortality. And then I will describe the goal of the research and hypothesis together with the payoffs. And then we'll deep dive to the research design, and then we'll uh, uh, interpret the results and then it will be concluded. But before the conclusion, I will provide some sort of uh, ideas on limitation of the research. So, um, water access inequality and health, this specific relationship has been understudied in the literature. So, I, I am very much interested in understanding is there any mechanism that really affects the child health in this perspective. And then the research problem that I'm considering is obviously child mortality, but specifically it is caused by diarrhea infection. So I'm not going into the in other types of uh, mortality reasons. And then the key factor that is under question is obviously water access inequality in this specific framework. And these following gaps are identified. Uh, basically, the health and water literature has been understudied, and specifically from this inequality perspective. And then there is a little say on the factor under question from the uh, economics perspective as well, if we look at the uh, research problem in the wider literature. And then there are some plausible biological pathways between water and uh, child mortality. Therefore, I wanted to um, more uh, look into the specific effect within these two variables, specifically from the water inequality, as bringing it as a factor under question. So, yeah. If you look at the approaches to mortality studies, it can be grouped into four different approaches, epidemiological and demographic approaches and historical approach, as well as interdisciplinary approach and the economic approach, the health economists usually, usually follow this way. So by adapting economic approach, the paper aims to explore the likely relationship between water inequality and child mortality caused by diarrhea specific infection and in the resource poor settings. So by controlling for the relevant uh, socioeconomic and public health determinants. Therefore, I ask the question whether and extent to which socio do socioeconomic inequalities in access to water impact the child mortality age, age under five uh, caused by this diarrhea uh, infection in low middle income countries. So hypothesis is that there is a strong correlation. And uh, the following payoffs uh, perhaps offered in this specific research framework. So um, I applied the concentration index method in order to quantify the inequalities in water access. And uh, it allows for cross-country analysis. And uh, it also offers important value in addressing some of the non-monetary equality problems, inequality problems across low-middle-income countries, although it's not holistic. And uh, it also highlighted the transmission channel between water inequality and uh, child mortality. And it also addressed the likely effect on the specific cause of child mortality, which is very important to highlight, because of the consideration uh, of uh, water as the, the main um, affecting factor that is this uh, plausible biological pathways between these two uh, uh, variables. So, uh, as well as using combination of new and old uh, data sets, these are publicly available and this international development community is very much putting an effort to make this data accessible and publicly available for the researchers as well as policy makers. Therefore, I think this is important um, attempt to make this kind of mission possible. So I put my research design into this 
um, table. So if you look at the indicators, there are um, six different indicators, starting from the child mortality caused by diarrhea. diarrhea. This is the outcome variable. And then uh, it's followed by the water access inequality, which was actually being estimated by myself using um, the JMP, method, JMP data sets. And then there is also the control variables, including income and income inequality, as well as two health policy variables. These are health expenditure and the number of the physicians. So this income, starting from income to health policy variables, these control variables were collected from the World Bank World Development Indicators, and uh, the water access inequality was estimated by myself, but based on the JMP uh, water data set. And child mortality caused by diarrhea is the outcome variable, and it is collected from the uh, International Health Inequality Evaluation data set. So, yeah. We see the data over here. We have just uh, mentioned about everything in detail. So why this data? I considered four main uh, uh, points for the selection, and it started with availability and accessibility, as well as the reliability. Since there is no perfect reliability in everything in this world, I wanted to highlight that this is relative reliability. And uh, second, it allows for analysis on rich panel data structure, so approximately over 1,000 observations have been included, and the IHME data offers better coverage compared to uh, WHO data in terms of uh, child mortality, and uh, uh, it has been like previously unavailable, now um, the IHME data offers it. And. Uh, allows for analysis, and this is specific IHME data allows for analysis, specifically uh, caused by diarrhea on, um, on child mortality. So this, these are the uh, reasons that I selected these data sets. So let's go to the empirical model specification. Um, basically, fixed effects model was adopted, and you can see the variables. And uh, since we have discussed the variables just before, um, just the previous slides, I don't want to um, repeat it. And uh, estimation of uh, water, I have mentioned that this uh, CI, watt, CI watt variable has been estimated by myself. So the estimation of water inequality indicator has uh, two consideration, considerations, like what category of water access to be selected, what measurement approach to be applied. So the decision was basically the basic access to drinking water in terms of JMP classification. It's over here. Uh, we wanted to um, go for the safely managed uh, ladder. However, the data structure couldn't allow it. It's um, largely uh, not available. Therefore, the second best ladder, so-called basic, was um, opted for the analysis. And uh, when it comes to the measurement appro approach applied, we uh, selected concentration index approach, and it has been widely um, applied in health inequality research. So uh, learning from the uh, in other disciplines is also important for me to understand or to, to introduce new approach to this specific research. And um, uh, yeah, and there is uh, data availability and comparability, as well as standardization. These allows for better reliability, therefore, it was another consideration and applicability of the method. So, uh, data and applicability of the method were the two main considerations why I chose the concentration index approach. Um, so, uh, access to drinking water in uh, democratic Take Republic of Congo. It was a, as a design of. Um, it's basically a result of this uh, uh, estimation and uh, estimation of the concentration index for each and every country that has been covered in the study. So, as a, an example of this uh, countries, I show this Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo. So in this uh, concentration curve, we can see that the cumulative proportion of population with access to water, it is on the y-axis, and on the other hand, the cumulative proportion of population ranked by wealth index is, is on the x-axis. So for further the uh, inequality, further the concentration index 
goes from the inequality line, the greater the inequality. So the greater inequality actually lies for the least, uh, the worst of uh, population group. So this is for the, all the avail available data sets. So you can see that uh, the concentration curve of the access to water is uh, pretty much more concentrated on, uh, on the better of population rather than the uh, poorer population. So we see that there is a descriptive st statistics. It, sh it says that the higher value of concentration index, the higher the mortality rate. So um, water inequality and uh, mortality rate are significantly closely, uh, these are correlated and the significance uh, you can see over here, which means um, the first uh, variable say I what on a uh, fixed effects model, it has uh, relatively um, approximately like 1.5 percent. Um, uh, yeah, the elasticity shows the 1.5 percent. So basically, it means that the percent, 1 percent increase in, decrease in water inequalities averse child mortality by 1.5 percent per thousand live births on average. So other variables show the confirmatory results mostly in line with the literature. So um, in order to interpret the results, I have considered the uh, multicollinearity, heterostasticity, and model fit. So after considering these things, I uh, choose the fixed effect model over the random effects model. And uh, on the other hand, the um, all, uh, fixed effects model offers important advantage of dealing with the unobserved effects uh, compared to the oldest model. Therefore, the final selection was the FA model. So there was one assumption that has to be held in order to make the decision. This was the key explanatory variable shouldn't be time constant. And uh, yeah, limitation when it comes to the uh, research design and its limitations, but there is always some sort of problem. And uh, I, would, uh, I, don't, uh, I would emphasize that the heterogeneity problem could, could be said, and it doesn't actually account for uh, the uh, country-specific var variations in this um, model. However, uh, like the main criticism was about this country-specific var variations. But however, these, uh, uh, there is a very practical data constraint. Uh, this is aggregated to country level. Therefore, I cannot really go into the multi-level analysis. And FE model was opted. And um, uh, on the other hand, I relied on FE model just because uh, there is unobservable variables um, are embedded. The unobservable factors are embedded in this model. So this was the another rely, another point that I relied on. So yeah, the practical uh, consideration, uh, the, some literatures uh, emphasize that FE model is pretty much um, customary, but there are new better approaches are coming. And as a conclusion, I have quantified uh, 50 low middle income countries by utilizing uh, cross country panel data covering the period between 2000 and 2017. And then uh, the fixed effects model um, uh, was uh, implemented in this analysis, and in order to allow the analysis, I estimated the uh, concentration index of water variable uh, was estimated, and then the findings revealed that there is a strong positive relationship and uh, between, between the two variables under examination. It's also important to recognize that access to adequate water services is often concentrated among the better of population rather than the poorer population groups. So this suggests that the intervention aimed at reducing water access inequalities among the population should be promoted. Um, however, it should be more targeting to proper scaling up and this calls for more distribution of investment targeting to the poorer population. And um, there is another point um, that I wanted to actually say. This was not even included in this. Okay. 
So um, there is one important point that I really would like to raise, but unfortunately it was excluded from my um, conclusion. The, this is about, uh, it is actually related to the uh, investment. So how actually we need, the po in, it is actually related to investment and it is about the policy question. So uh, how do we target the investment? Like from this water access, investment in building water infrastructure. The, the beneficiaries of this investment is often happen to be the better of pop population because richer uh, households or richer individuals um, can afford higher paying housings rather than the poorer ones. Therefore, they have always resulted in better access and better uh, living conditions. So uh, uh, the international investments in this line of um, projects, they are actually trying to target proper scaling up, but in the reality, it has been often been resulted in uh, better of population. So this calls for further in investigation, in my opinion. So I would like to end my presentation here.